That's proof that I can fit anything into my cape. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Rosella, I want you inside me. Oh, I'm your father. Take it back. All right, so before we attack the Cliffs of Logic, let's do a little bit of a recap here because this chapter has me a little bit confused. It's sweet that it's uh, a little journey of Graham coming to terms with his son and who he is and more importantly, what he isn't and blah, 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 blah. What I'm really concerned about here is Nice and the Sphinx and their dynamic and also how it plays into Queen Isabella in the events of King's Quest. Five. So, look, uh, Manny's a cat, right? And they're saying the Sphinx is Manny. So they're either implying A, that the cat cookie turned him into a Sphinx cat because Manny and magic and stuff, or that Manny, as a cat, came over and drank whatever was left of that uh, the lotion. So apparently the Sphinx and Nice or Isabella have been together for a long, long time. And then the Sphinx put together all these puzzle rooms and, and, uh, the labyrinth and everything. And then she's like, oh yeah, we've been doing this forever and forever and forever. But Alexander like just showed up maybe what, not even three weeks ago. And it's like, Hey, let's go on a family vacation. And now we're here. And now the Sphinx is like, yeah, we've been doing this for years. And it's like, yes, he's my closest friend. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Um, yeah, there's more I want to say, but I don't want to stall too much. Okay, so now I'm not sure if you like switch in between the two characters. Oh, got it. Yep. Okay, there we go. Good job, Rosella. You've always been my favorite. Can I interact with you in any way? Are you still... Nope, you're still off limits. Why is Rosella such a minor character in this one? I mean, bravo Alexander, bravissima, but I want to get to know my daughter. Oh, uh, more of this. Oh. Uh-oh. Ice me. Don't worry. There's no possible way these puns can get worse. So apparently I didn't do mine. All right, let's try this again. All right, that ought to do Why it. Why didn't you hand down the crown to Aunt Rosella? She was always off on her own adventures with Edna. Then she had Gart, and she was much more interested in training him to be king. Nice must have been expecting us with this puzzle. Choose our strategy. I'll go down to the board, but you better keep me safe. Always. The Ice Guards were not highly skilled wits players like Manny. They only moved side to side, and they never moved shields. I needed to navigate V to the tile with a door to win. Failure would not be good for our marriage. You're going to have to guide me. I can't see the whole board. Oh man, do we have to play Battle of Wits again? I hate Battle of Wits. Are you trying to trick me? Oh my god, I actually kill her. Oh, it's a real arrow. I guess that makes sense. I hate Battle of Wits. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Oh man. Alright, so I kill the person, but then they just pop right back up again. Lame. Alright, so the point is literally just to walk the line. Uh, all right, finally, that took, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes or so of a little bit of trial and error, but I think we've got it now. So you have to go a little bit more on the offensive than I thought you would have to normally. I thought, you just move all those shields up to the front so you just, you just have safe passage and you should nail it. Not quite. Oh, goody. The soft music is playing. Oh. Would you kindly? Of course, friend. Everybody freeze! <gasps> oh, so Manny's in control. I command you to release us now, Sphinx. All of us. Our bonds are thicker than this brittle ice. Um, dear, I think you meant release us, Mananen. No, 
That's only what his slaves call him. Let us go, Manny. Your cover's blown. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Your new family figured out my greatest puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it took you long enough, morons. That accent is not the easiest on the vocal cords. <laughs> and you, Gwydion. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I don't know what I was expecting. Disappointments run in your bloodline. You were supposed to restore Daventry from the cesspit it's become. What were you thinking? Your little cat spell was just a minor setback. You should have known I have plenty of other slave friends with magical abilities. Oh. I raised you better than this. Now, your reckless behavior leaves me no other option but to freeze out you and your entire lineage. It's time to start a new legacy. Enough, Manny! Your abuse ends now! You took away my life, my joy, and my worth. And when I left, I chose not to be your slave anymore, to move on and find my own happiness, my own life. Now I know that destroying you won't bring back my childhood. But if it will save another innocent child, then I will melt the fur right off your face! Do not talk to my best friend that way! Good thing I'm ambidextrous. No! You might melt me! I hate that name! I know my friend is in there. Come home with me. We can fight this cold together. Don't listen. <coughs> <coughs> Don't listen to her. She's trying to manipulate you, my darling. She's not your friend. Friends don't abandon each other. Did I ever leave you? Niece, if I knew what was happening to you, I, I, I would have rushed to be by your side. I... I just got so busy with the castle and the kids. Slowest I acting ice spell so ever. Things to worry about. <gasps> Mom, should I blast her? Stay calm, Alexander. Princess Nice from Western Kalima, I need you to remember. Don't fall for her tricks. Your Majesty, listen to me. Your real friend. The one who gave you your friendship crown. Should I have given it to someone else? I could always crown another queen, you know. Friendship crown. Maybe it's Fee, cursed? What have I done? All is forgiven. Come here. Oh my god. Monster! We can fix her, right? <laughs> Blast him, Alexander! Burn his hide! No, Mom. I've got a better idea. Uh, yeah. oh. This again? Yes. <laughs> Guide my shot! Alright, aim for the mouth. Let's do it. No. Wait for it. Come on. Alexander, you're so bad at this. Just... You keep missing the mouth. Get in there. Take your best shot, Gwydion. My name is Alexander. That'd be so anticlimactic if this misses. <laughs> Looks like you missed the mark. Again. Actually, that shot was just feline. No, Alexander, you, you keep working on it. Oh. How clever. A pu- I don't feel I don't understand. Well. He was a cat before, and now he's a cat again. Oh, I thought you liked the taste of cat cookies. No. No. What did you- Wait for it. Hey, 
curse you, imbeciles. <laughs> this is hardly the end of this. And from meow on... <coughs> Sarge, not again. Oh, please continue. <laughs> meow, hold on one second. <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> Where's that one? I ah, dare you. Forget it. Meow, you'll need to deal with this. Uh, how did you do that? You're a cat. With stringy hair. What's that little green charm? Oh, come on. Do we still have more puzzles we have to do? Oh, we're back in the original room. Yeah. Oh. We were trapped in the very same room as the last time. This time, I figured Alexander could just blast us out. Blast us out? But wouldn't that ruin the integrity of the puzzle? No, Dad. Let's beat this straight up. My son was finally taking to these puzzles, and I couldn't have been a prouder papa. Uh, your life is on the line. I think fire is actually a pretty good solution. Uh, all right, now we're exactly where we started. All right, I have this workbench to work with. Uh, that box was special. I hung on to it for quite a few years. All right, I was guessing that maybe the gift from the Hobblepots would be like um, a get out of puzzle free card. Like they would pop out and say, this is the way you're supposed to do it. My judging face will solve this. They're all working on their respective puzzles. So I, oh, this one's ha holding something. What is it? Looks like I found a clue. Okay. What's in the clue? Uh. Oh, clue piece. So star, leaf, heart, vase, book have all lines reading down to a respective thingamabob. So maybe every time you solve a puzzle, one of these little pieces uh, pops up. So we'll let them do their thing. I need a combination for that. All right, guys, will you have fun with that? What's in the other room here? Uh, the matchstick puzzle is like, oh, this one looks desperate. So there's a sword here, an arrow. Oh. Uh. Intriguing. Yes, very intriguing. Fascinating. Fascinating. I'll stop commenting on everything. It might give away the puzzle. <laughs> Jerk. Just let me. All right. So this is part of an overarching puzzle. Interesting. The sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. Uh, it says you're supposed to shake your head, but it looks like it's supposed to be a zero. So this says 10. I'm guessing this is giving us the combination to something or other. Matchstick puzzle. Oh God, there's so much to do. Nothing I can interact with though. What is this room all about? I can turn it, but I can't turn it back. Am I doing a thing that is a right thing? I wasn't about to pull that switch again. The sign read, remove four matchsticks and you will see the answer lies in triangles of three. All right, so I don't, I don't think the numbers actually enter into it. I just need to remove However many chap, uh, yeah, chapsticks, matchsticks, and make three triangles. I solved it. I guess, I guess it just wanted separate triangles. So, one, four, six, apparently is a combination or something like that. We needed to crack the code to escape the room. All right, so the number spelled out 146 of the matchbook puzzles. Let's see if that opens this. Yep. All that was inside was a sequence of colors. All right, so that's Guys, the solution. Guys, I think I found something. Oh. Kovja. Yes. Put all the clues on the table. Mm, okay. Gotcha, Rosie. So she solved her puzzle. If anyone finds any puzzle pieces... Bring them to me. 
So the door to get out is a um, alphabet puzzle. So I'm guessing this will tell us what letters and what order eventually. All right, she's going to want this. I knew I was missing something. This must be the order to play the notes. Are you Aww, kidding me? I was hoping some secret compartment would unlock. I would have designed it that way. That's why I married it. you. Uh, Dad, check this out. It's my Mr. Fancy it. Cakes. What? All right, she's got this one, and then he solved this puzzle. Well, I put the puzzle together. It's a nice picture, but I don't see how it's a clue. There was an extra piece, though. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. I am so proud of you, son. Is the clue on the back well, of it, maybe? You. Yay! Uh, oh, next. Oh, with a heart on it. All right. So, what did it say about hearts? Hey, you find any other pieces? Uh, heart goes. Let's see, book vase heart. No, we need more to figure out what the what the heart goes to. Okay. Right, these puzzle pieces are going to be a little bit more important as we go on. Can I play with your doorknob puzzle? That was it. All right. Another clue. Another clue. All right. Well, let's put that away. That was deceptively easy. Another clue. What? Just sitting on the ground, huh? Did someone help me? I've almost puzzled something out. Okay. What the heck does this mean? There we go. All right, so now the path is more or less complete, I think. Boop, 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 boop. Now, let me get my trust, my, let me get my trusty pad and pencil. All right, so I made a note of what all these little symbol patterns have a correlation to, but how do we determine an order? Now, uh, there's like a book, a vase, heart, a leaf, etc., etc., etc. And some of these things have a correlation over here. So here's a uh, sword, which means J. And then there's this horseshoe in here, which... Oh, I see. So one, two. It's all coming together. So it goes horseshoe, sword, puzzle. What is that? What is number four trying to tell me? Oh, star. Got it. So, if I put that in an order, so it is horseshoe L. Oh my god, please don't spell love. If the if the answer is love, I'm going to vomit. In which case, it does look the answer should be love, but my answers are telling me J. Let me let me just double check this out because I'm fairly certain the answer is love. Which is a nice throwback to King's Quest VI, but let me double check here. The sword is marked as three, which is J. O is very obviously the hourglass. Hmm. Unless they're messing with me. <laughs> Are they messing with me? Because I'm fairly certain. Let me double check this. Um, it, the answer should be love. All right, wait, wait, wait. If they're fucking with me, I'm going to... I applaud you. Alright, so let's think a little bit more clearly here. Because this makes a little bit more sense. So here's the arrow. Leads over to this guy who's pointing this way. And then it wants you to go over here. And then it points down here to the hourglass, which is O. Okay, perfect. So the answer is love. So that's what rotating all those little pictures meant. Got it. Okay, that's cute. So let's activate the door. That should do it. Uh, button. We did it! Yay! These are the kind of puzzles I enjoy. Not these switch flipping nonsense. She also seems to be very calm after the uh, apparent death of Nice. Hope oh, she's okay. Oh, never mind. We can rebuild her. 
nicht. Oh, you guys want to be the king now, huh? Shoo! Shoo! That's a you whoop 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 The greatest puzzle of all. She's in a better spot now, love. No, that was there's Oh really? I thought there was something we can do about that. It, like, if we ever needed to further cement our hatred of Mananan, that seemed kind of unnecessary. But my, my cape... I'm still waiting for a rug pool. I know we will meet again, friend. Thank you for everything. Uh, ghost niece? That's weird. So Isabella is dead, I guess. What does that say about King's Quest V? It's easy to love someone at their best, when they do what you want them to. But the greatest puzzle our family ever solved was figuring out how to love each other at our worst. And even when we are cold to each other, we've always found ways to warm each other up. Number one, Daventry dead. That's me. Up oh, there's Manny, sulking as usual. Oh, the portrait's burned. Did he do that? Oh, that's right. No, we burned him. That's right. Could you scrape together another potion out of this? Perhaps with a few rare and miraculous ingredients, but it will take a very long time. I'll need to work under a new alias. King Graham is going to be hot on our tail. Yes, we know you're Mordak. Mind, brother. Yes. I think it's time I shed my slave name. What do you think about the name Mordak? That's why is that like a big stinger? That was the most. Never mind. I'm not going to be that kind of guy. Ooh, huh? deviled eggs. Those are my favorite things in the world. If anyone ever... Oh, guard. Oh, no. Oh, man. Um, he snuck these out of the kitchen for you. Is that a throwback to our sword battle where I threw eggs at you and you lost, Gart? What's this? Read it. Addendum 48677. I know this one. The King of Daventry may choose any worthy male to succeed the throne. Not that. Oh, did he amend um, it to say women? Yeah, it looks like there's a proposed amendment. Do it, do it, do it. The above it. statement shall be modified to read. The King of Daventry may choose any worthy person to succeed them. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I had no idea about the change. I know how hard you worked to inherit the throne. That's not why I'm upset. Keep reading. Dearest officials, I'm writing to waive the 30-day holding period usually required for amendments of this nature. The changes outlined on this document must be enacted immediately due to my imminent death. Oh, well, yeah. Imminent? What? You told me he had a few good years left. We all thought he did. But, but now the doctors say he could go at any time. Any time? Oh, he does. <laughs> he does I'm love ready him. to lose him. <laughs> it's okay, Gar. I'm not ready either. Oh, God. The next chapter is going to suck. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. So what is this little ending one trying to tell me here? But it doesn't really seem like 
Anything I could have done in this chapter would have made things end for better or worse in any way. Like, me and my son were always going to get together. I mean, yeah, there I am, King Graham the Wise back there, or the Brave, or the Bold, or whatever. That was a choice that was made in previous chapters. The Box uh, and Acorn, which are decisions I made, God, like two or three chapters ago. And then Nice and... Uh, all right. I mean, it's a cute ending, but I don't see what this has to do with anything because I didn't have any choices to make at all that had any consequences on anything going forward. Now, one thing I did kind of notice, which was cute, that on Gart's, uh, you may have noticed his little lapel pin, which is the uh, silver rose, which I think as being Alexander's child is a uh, memento from his time on the Land of the Green Isles, a uh, beast, most notably. Uh, I forget where that came from. I guess it was like maybe a stone rose from the garden, maybe? Was that a thing? It's been a while since I played King's Quest VI, which makes me think that it might be time to do King's Quest VI on the channel. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah, vote up there. See those little polls up there? Yeah, hit that. And let me know what you guys think. I love putting those little polls in, in everything. Okay, so let me go back to being confused here for a second. So, Mananin, not Man, yeah, Manan, uh, he was turned into a cat when Alexander escaped. Then somehow the cat made its way back here, drank the potion, became the Sphinx, and then made a bunch of puzzles to trap us, right? Then, we come along, and then there, he's like, oh, let's talk about family and stuff. And it almost seems like the Sphinx, in a, its weird backwards way, was trying to help us, not kill us. I, I don't quite get his plan there. But anyway, so we turn him back into a cat, which somehow Manny didn't see coming. And just stood there, waiting for the arrow to be shot directly at his mouth. Which was a nice callback to the first time we tried to shoot him in the eye. But I don't, I don't understand how the Sphinx became Manny. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments, unless I'm missing something really, really obvious, which happens quite a lot. And I don't know what the ice little people were saying at the end when they put on the crown, but I'm guessing you guys will probably know before I do, at least here, because <laughs> you've watched the video. Nice little throwbacks in there. Uh, I noticed that in the last one, um, one of the ice people was like, hey, the, you, this, it's like, what was his name? Chris or Craig? It's like, we know that's you. It's like, you're the only person that would actually take the time to reverse this. It's like, what are you doing? But I looked through the credits and I didn't find anybody who matched the name. I think it was... It was like Charles or Charlie or something. I didn't find any Charles or Chuck or anything on the sound team. So... Maybe it's an inside joke. I don't know. So, final thoughts about this chapter. Um... I mean, I'm glad they decided to have, like, a nice, real puzzle episode, but it just dragged on forever and ever. It's just one puzzle after another, and then they just kind of put the, the uh, story parts in between, which is fine, but as a game, sort of running the telltale method, which is you make decisions which affect everything else in the game, there were no real decisions to make. Everything was pretty much laid out. Um, which, again, in this, for the sake of variety, is fine. The last couple of, the, the first, what, three chapters were all decision-making, which had relevance here. So, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to overlook that. I think some of the pillow, yeah, the pillows, the puzzles, while challenging, did go on for quite a while, but the story kind of made it worth it. But now, again, there's a lot of questions about the events of King's Quest 4 and 5 and how accurate to the story and the canon that this game is going. Or is it sort of writing its own canon? What is canon? Is this like some sort of alternate universe? Queen Isabella in 5? Because 5 hasn't happened yet, I don't think. And what made Gra Graham decide to shave his beard uh, after Mordak stole the castle? Yeah, because King's Quest V ha certainly hasn't happened yet, because Mord Morden just became Mordak. So the stealing of the castle thing still has yet to happen. Interesting. So the canon seems to be sort of the story pulled from various little bits and bobs. Some parts were used, some parts were not. But again, I trust the odd gentleman to use the source material better than, let's say, oh, Mask of Eternity did. So thanks for hanging on for me with King's Quest, uh, what was it? King's Quest Chapter 4. That's what it was. God knows how long it's going to be until the next chapter comes out. It was between chapters 3 and 4 was 5 months, I think. At this point, yeah, I mean, 
Screw King Graham dying of old age. I think Christopher Lloyd's gonna die of old age before we see chapter five. Not that I'm doubting them, but come on guys. It's been, it's been over a year since chapter one came out. So until next time, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time and uh, a good night, jelly beans. A good night.